Lesson 2.3D, Comparing Very Small Numbers in Scientific Notation. To compare very small numbers in scientific notation, first thing we do is compare the powers of 10. The second thing we do is compare the multiplicands if they have the same power of 10. So remember, the first number in a multiplication equation is the multiplicand. So if they have the same power of 10, then we compare the multiplicands. When comparing numbers written in scientific notation with negative powers of 10, remember that negative numbers become greater in value as they near zero. Negative 2 is greater than negative 3. This means 10 raised to the negative second power is greater than 10 raised to the negative third power. Here it's telling us to compare 0 0.000004 and 0 0.0008 using standard notation to find how many times greater 0 0.0008 is than 0 0.000004. First thing we do is write it as a ratio, and we write greater to lesser. We multiply by a ratio equal to 1. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six hops on the longer one down here. That means we're going to multiply it by 10 to the 6th power over 10 to the 6th power. Same numerator and denominator. That's a ratio equal to 1. We get 800 over 4, which, when we simplify it, is equal to 200. That means... 0 0.0008 is 200 times greater than 0 0.000004. Here it's telling us to compare the same two numbers using scientific notation. We move this decimal point six hops to be behind the 4, so we get 4 times 10 raised to the negative sixth power. And we move this decimal point over 4 hops to get 8 times 10 to the negative fourth power. After we write them in scientific notation, we compare their powers of 10 by writing them as a ratio of greater to lesser. We have 10 to the negative fourth power over 10 to the negative sixth power. Now remember, when we have exponents like this, we subtract. That means we have negative 4 minus negative 6. And do you remember when subtracting a negative? We add the opposite, so we're going to make this a plus sign, and the opposite of negative 6 is positive 6. We have negative 4 plus 6, which is going to push us across 0 to a positive 2. We have 10 to the second power, which is 10 times 10, which is equal to 100. Now we compare the corresponding multiplicands by writing them as a ratio of greater to lesser. We have a 4 and an 8. 8 is greater. So we're going to put 8 over the 4, that's a ratio of greater to lesser, that's equal to 2. That means 8 times 10 raised to the negative fourth power is 100, this 100, times 2, which is equal to 200 times greater than 4 times 10 to the negative sixth power. We found that 8 times 10 raised to the negative fourth power is greater than 4 times 10 raised to the negative sixth power. We know this is true because 10 raised to the negative fourth power is greater than 10 raised to the negative sixth power. Remember, negative exponents make positive fractions, so we can write this as 1 ten thousandth is greater than 1 millionth. A ratio of the greater number to the lesser number, when simplified, will tell us how many times the numerator is greater than the denominator. We write 8 over 4, which is 8 divided by 4, which is equal to 2. We know 8 is 2 times greater than 4. We can write it as one ratio of greater to lesser. We can write 8 times 10 raised to the negative fourth power over 4 times 10 raised to the negative sixth power. And we do 8 divided by 4, which is 2. And we do the negative 4 minus negative 6, which is a positive 2. 
Remember, we add the opposite, so we're going to get 10 to the second power. And 2 times 10 to the second power is 200. Therefore, 8 times 10 raised to the negative fourth power is 200 times greater than 4 times 10 raised to the negative sixth power. If both numbers have the same power of 10, we can write it as one ratio of greater to lesser. We do 8 divided by 4, which is 2. We have the same numerator and denominator on this side, so it's going to be times 1, which is equal to 2. Therefore, 8 times 10 raised to the negative fourth power is 2 times greater than 4 times 10 raised to the negative fourth power. We're finished with part D. We're moving on to the very last part, part E, comparing very small numbers in the real world, of course, with scientific notation. Have a wonderful day, and join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.